You are still a living attribute of God. He cannot lose you. How many of you are glad you're not living by chance? You're not living by the draw, the lucky draw. You're living by a plan that God has laid out for our lives before we ever showed up here on this planet. The good and the bad and the ugly. Now, somebody said the whole world is churning, trying to determine why bad things happen to good people. I'm telling you this, God is sovereign. God has a plan. If you'll just hold on to him, you'll find out before it's over that he didn't forsake you. He didn't forget you. You didn't fall out of his love. You didn't fall out of his care. He allowed these things to come your way because he's bringing you to a higher glory. He's bringing you to a place where you can meet him where he stands. He stands today on the promised word for this year. And God wants you to be able to meet him there. You can't meet God in 2022 if you're still living in 2021. You can't meet God for what he wants to do for us this year if you're still living in 1950. You've got to catch up. The reason why we get behind and we don't catch up is we're still trying to go and sort out all the things that happened to us. Why did that happen? Well, why did that happen? What if I'd have done this? But I want you to know your life, your very existence, your tomorrow, your today is not in the hands of educated men. It's not in the hands of a good hospital. It's not in the hands of a good doctor. Your life is in the hands of a good God. You say, well, I'm going through some stuff that's not good. You may be 100% telling it just like it is. You may be going through something that's not good at all, but I'll tell you what the Bible said. He works all things for the good. When you're at your worst, when you're so rotten you stink, your attitude's foul. You've grumbled more than you've praised. You are still a living attribute of God. He cannot lose you. He will not lose you. He will chase you. He will pursue you. He will wrap his arms around you until you surrender again to the life that he has chosen for you. One that is not by luck, not by chance, not by happenstance. So you may think that this is a mistake and that's been a mistake and that's been a mistake. I want you to know these things that have happened along the way could absolutely be God bringing us somewhere, taking us somewhere. We may not see the message until we're sitting down one day with our mind on him and it hits us like a thunderbolt. Oh, now that makes sense.